Hey everyone. So this week we had some really special guests on the farm and they were gathered by the hundreds in our trees. Um, this oak tree back here and over back there we have a willow grove. They were all over the place roosting, well actually clustering in our trees. They were the monarch butterflies on their migration route and they chose to stop at our farm and I just wanted to take a minute or two here to kind of highlight why they decided to stop at our farm. So you can see the cattle are behind me. Um, our cattle are grass fed, all of our animals are raised on pasture and part of the reason we do that is to provide habitat for other animals like the migrating monarchs. So as the monarchs are journeying south to Mexico, some of these butterflies travel over 3,000 miles to do this. So they get hungry along the way, right? Um, our pastures provide food for them, right? Before we started raising grass-fed beef, this field was a cornfield and soybeans, which does not provide the flowers and um, nectar that the butterflies need. So since we have pasture, there's food, and with the trees, there's habitat available for them to collect, take a rest, get some food before they move on. Um, and the other thing about our cattle and the way we farm here is that our cattle are rotationally grazed, which means we use this little wire here we use a single electric wire to move them in controlled spaces across the pasture. And we move them twice a day. That's for quite a few reasons. Um, it helps them grow and uh, get the most nutrients for themselves, but it also helps habitat and provides for butterflies, right? So the cattle just got moved uh, just an hour ago here. But I want to show you, I'm standing in the paddock that they were in last night. And this is what makes the difference. Right here. They were in here, right? And they also eat clover, just like the butterflies do. This is kind of the flower that the monarchs are really after right now, um, at least on our pasture. And even though the cattle were in here, they didn't eat every single clover flower. And they were only in here for half a day. So that means, and they're in this one now, which they'll be in until this evening before they move again. So that constant movement helps to keep the cattle growing, but it keeps the pasture thriving. There's different butterflies and insects and birds bopping up and down in this paddock that the cattle already grazed. There's still habitat here, even though the cattle also used it. So that is the big difference about our farm, our beef, is that the beef and the butterflies are living together, eating from the same food sources, and both of them are thriving. So let me know if you have questions. I'm not an expert on monarch butterflies, but um, I can answer any questions about how the beef and the butterflies work together to make life amazing, I guess. <laughs> Thanks. I did want to mention too that um, since the temperature dropped last night, unfortunately the butterflies have moved on in their migration and they're no longer roosting here with us. Um, but hopefully, I mean this happened two years ago to our farm as well, so we hope every year that they come, um, stay tuned next year and hopefully they'll, they'll be back again if you wanted to come and see them yourself. Otherwise, um, I did catch this short brief video um, of kind of the wow effect that they have when you um, stumble upon them in the trees. So go ahead and enjoy that and we'll hear from you.